Hey guys, welcome in this new video. I hope that everyone is doing great. So in today's video, I want to talk about leverage and why leverage can be very risky for you and also why it can be good if you actually know how to use it. So let's get into it. So first of all, for those who don't know what leverage is, it's basically a way to multiply your investment or to invest more money that you actually have in your trading account. So for example, if you have $1,000 in your trading account and you have a 50 to one leverage, well, you will be able to invest $50,000 in the market, right? So you are able to train more money than what you actually have. So for the beginners, it actually sounds very interesting, right? You don't have a lot of money and you can invest more money. So that sounds perfect. That sounds so great, right? Wow, nice opportunity. But in reality, leverage can be extremely risky and is the reason why a lot of people will lose money trading. And it can be good as well if you actually know how to use it. And so that is what we will break down in this video. So the reason why I say that leverage is something very risky is because in trading, one of the most important thing that you need to focus on is your risk management how much percentage of your accounts you actually risk on each trade that you will take how much money do you risk on each trade that you take that is extremely important all great traders have a good risk management and they always follow it that is one of the most important rules that you will need to set up for yourself when it comes to your trading plan right so leverage, like we said before, is a way to invest more money that you actually have on the market. So if you use too much leverage, meaning if you use and if you invest more money, a lot more money than what you have in your trading account, well, it becomes very risky because you will no longer be able to respect a good risk management because you will have too much money in the market. So that means that even if it just go down a little bit, you will already be over your risk management and you will risk too much on one trade. And that is extremely uh, difficult for your trading account because you have to respect a good risk management if you want to be able to just be a good trader and sustain on the long term. And using too much leverage will actually play against that it, it will it's basically the complete opposite of having a good risk management when you use too much leverage so that is why you need to be extremely careful and you know i see very often online uh, brokers or even people who promote high leverage so they will promote like 100 leverage 500 and i've even seen 1000 leverage and these leverage are way too big way too big because when you use this leverage you just cannot mathematically right it's not you it's just mathematically you cannot mathematically make sure that you have a good risk management you cannot follow a good risk management if you invest too much money on one trade so that is why it can be extremely dangerous for you if you use too much leverage now i'm not saying that leverage is like a demon right it can be good Myself, I use some leverage, but I use a very small leverage compared to most people. So the maximum leverage that I will use is like 10 to 1. And so when you look at other people, it is extremely small. And the reason why I don't use a lot of leverage is because, like I said, I want to be able to respect my risk management. And that is always what you need to focus on. And it has to be your priority as a trader to follow a good risk management that is the most important thing because you can have the best mindset in the world you can have the best strategy in the world if you don't know how to manage your risk you will eventually lose all your capital so that is why it is crucial for you to master that so now you understand with this video that it's not about whether you use or whether you don't use leverage it's about how you use it how smart you actually use your leverage, right? Because you can use too much leverage and also too little, right? If you have like $10,000 in your trading account and you just take, you know, mini lots and you invest a very small amount of money in the market, 
well, there's no way to, like, there's no reason to trade. You will just risk, you know, practically nothing compared to your trading account and your account will not grow. So it's not really about whether you use leverage or you don't use leverage. It's about how you use it. And that will determine your trading results and how able you are to persist on the long term in trading. Another thing that is really important and that I want to cover today is that your leverage is your dependent variable. In, and it's the same thing as your lot size, how much money you invest in the market. These variables are dependent. And a lot of people will do the mistake of putting them as independent. And that is the wrong way to see it. And what I mean by that is your independent variable is your risk management. So that means that if you decide to invest or I should say to risk 1% per trade, that is your risk management. It's done. It never moves, right? So each trade, you will risk 1% of your account. That is your risk management and it's independent. After that, the amount of money that you invest in the market, your lot size, your leverage that you're using, all these things, they are depending on your risk management. So these will be the one who will vary and who will change to fit your risk management, right? And a lot of people will do the opposite. They will always use the same leverage or invest the same amount of money but then their risk management will depend on that. And that is the complete opposite way that you want to do it. So your risk management is independent and how much money you invest in the market is actually the dependent variable in order to respect your risk management. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope that it was helpful. If it was, please share this video with someone you care about or another trader. I would truly appreciate it. You can also leave a like under the video so now I know if you actually enjoy it or not. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.